Hey guys, JH, welcome to practice tea. Might be a hurried practice tea, it's raining a little bit, but you know, we'll we'll take it as it comes. Okay guys, something um, something interesting. Uh, last week I did a a poll of all the guys that I've that I currently teach around the world uh, on my general roster and guys that you know I've known for forever and a lot of people probably I don't know three or four hundred people and just a general question I said guys of all the stuff that I've done over the years in your opinion what is the best swing that you've seen from me which gets the best results in terms of ball flight and what swing have a, a lot of you taken up and had good results with whether you've continued to use them or not I don't know but but what you did and uh, and and what happened with it and it was interesting uh, a, a few a lot of the people said the Mo Norman swing and they said they liked that swing but they didn't take it up because it was a little bit too much of a departure from convention but the majority of them said it was my short controlled acceleration swing that they saw me have the best results with and when they tried it they had the best results so I'm going to go down that road again today guys because I haven't been down there for a while but it was a little bit ironic that yesterday afternoon with the, with the guys here late in the day I've just mentioned to them the result of the poll and they said well and there was about you know, a couple of guys here and, and it was late in the day and they said well just show us what it is and what you used to do and one of the guys actually had amazing results with it about six months ago and we started doing it and it was getting dark and we only had you know 30 or 40 balls but we absolutely ripped them absolutely ripped them and guys so what is the short controlled acceleration swing and what is the benefit of it okay guys guys it is what it sounds like it's a short and because it's short it's controlled and it's absolute acceleration but there's a few things in it that make it short controlled and accurate now one of the main advantages is that if you have a short swing and your hands are only sort of going to here uh, there's basically no chance that you can come over the shot because the hands are low clubs low and there's not a lot of chance of the shoulder when the clubs up here like the shoulder can actually rip out and get you over the shot but when it's in here nearly impossible to come over the shot now one of the things that I utilize in the short controlled acceleration swing is a preloading of my lead knee in that I preload it there so there's a lot of pressure on that there it's almost like an elastic band that's set and I just set it there and, and, and as I take the club back here it goes it's the first thing that goes and it pulls on my hands and the club head that's what it does it's raining guys but I'll go through this as long as it doesn't uh, wet out my camera yeah so I, I preload that that lead knee there only take the club back to here and then the lead knee does that and it pulls on the golf club and guys it's short and abrupt but I don't lose any distance with it and it's and it's really amazingly accurate I hit about 10 drives here yesterday afternoon there's a gate over there that's only eight feet wide I hit about six of them out the gate I mean, it's just crazy okay it's not far away it's only about 200 and 35 yards but you know the ball was still going when it went out the gate still climbing but it was the accuracy was crazy so guys this is this is basically what it is I don't think about anything but just whipping the club back and I do I whip it back I actually pull it back now what I do is I hinge the wrist guys I don't cock the wrist I hinge them I pull it back with my dominant hand I just pull it back here that, that knee is loaded and now as soon as that knee goes back the other way like a rubber band responding to stretch I just hit it as hard as I can with that that trail trail hand it's raining okay so and I haven't had a swing guys I wanted to set the camera up and and get it going uh, so this is basically what it is guys
First swing of the day. That's all it is, guys. Just take it back and smash it. Absolutely smash it. Now the ground's wet and my feet are slipping. Just kill that. Club's not going back very far, is it? Not at all. Feet are slipping all over the place. The grass is wet. Oh, guys, what happens is that as you fling it back, and it is a fling back, not a, you don't take the club back, you fling it back. It's almost a Count Yogi type thing. I'm actually pulling the toe of the club back with that lead hand and folding that wrist here bang as it goes back it loads the shaft it loads my wrist and my my lead knee because it's already in a state of uh, pressure um, unloads guys I can't hit it better than that can't hit it better than that not at all it's five iron that's just gone at least five iron or, or further than normal five iron distance it was just absolutely perfect first shot I hit my foot just slipped straight out from under me I've only got these rubber spikes and they're no good when the grass is long or wet that's the problem with them but guys I load that knee in there so that's there as I get back here as I flung this back here that pulls on it that pulls on the head or pulls on my right wrist for me my trail wrist I, I fling it back here bang actually feel a lot of pressure there a lot of pressure so I'm going to pull it back <laughs> it can't be that easy I know you're saying it can't be that easy Jared. well let me tell you guys it is that easy every one of those shots has got exactly the same flight on them about a one yard draw and paralyzingly straight I mean absolutely laser straight what do you think about it guys the golf clubs only going to here and you're doing that you're just pulling it back like that loading it with momentum the club will orbit you'll get a consistent orbit that's exactly what happens the club is orbiting you're throwing it back into orbit and then the left knee is pulling it through its orbit coming into the ball or the lead knee but you've got to load this up so that as you pull back there's a lot of tension there and that just goes here I mean the swing is short and what does it feel like it feels like a a slap or a flap or a flip that's what it feels like. It feels like whew, not trying to hold any angles. Oh no way! Not trying to do any of that. I'm just I'm just letting the club have pure pure momentum and letting it have its head. Okay. Now now I've just come from the gym again as I always do in the mornings, and um, I'm very very stiff. And they were the first shots I've hit. So now I've uh, warmed up after six shots. I'll just have a little bit more flow and swing. Now guys. That's gone as far as a four iron. That's gone as far as a four iron. So do we have to take the club up here? Do we have to risk all the extraneous crazy carry uh, travel of the golf club and the complexities and the difficulties of keeping it in that in that frame of travel or in that slot of travel? I couldn't get out of the slot here if I tried. I couldn't do it. It's not possible. Because the loads are down. They're not, they're not from here. And, and there's, there's no way I can go that way. My loads from here are there. Here. It's there. That's where it is, guys. That's the reality of it. My loads are down and out. They're not over and out. I mean, that was as far as a four iron. I, I promise you, that no exaggeration, that was four iron distance. Just 
so straight. And it just feels like a little bunt. Like a little, whew, like a shot you're playing out of the rough under a tree or something. We made this analogy yesterday, a couple of the guys said, so that feels like when I'm trying to punch a shot out under a branch. And you know how good they go most of the time, guys. Invariably, you're trying to lay up short of a creek or something coming out and you just hit it in the creek because you get that amazing acceleration. All right, we'll rip this one. We'll do a full swing. And this is a short controlled acceleration swing flat out. It's exactly the same speed every time. Got to get the, the, the only, the only absolute in it, I don't know where I am in frame here guys, but the only absolute in the swing is making sure that the left knee is wound up like a rubber band and it absolutely um, starts the downswing. Like that. Well it's a little bit downwind here to Dave, but that's almost gone three iron distance. It's five iron. Didn't go through, but it's probably gone four and a half. It's a little bit down, so it's probably maybe maybe a quarter club win. Oh, it's probably about 20k, so it's probably half a club win. But it's not actually down, it's on the beam. Now watch this guys. That's absolutely four iron distance. Okay. Just hit a couple with the driver. Now guys, this will work amazingly well because this is my 43 and a half inch driver with the A shaft. Now because it's a little swing and I've got a little shaft, you watch how much this loads off this, off this swing. This will be almost a rubber band shaft. Same length swing as the uh, five line. No different. Uh, what does what does it do to ball flight? It hits the ball down with my driver because I've got a fair bit of release on it. Hits it down with the driver. I'll do it a little bit smoother. Guys, that's as, that's as far as I hit a normal drive. And it must look like a wedge swing, but that's as far as I normally hit a drive with a full golf swing. I'm doing all this quick because of the rain. Right, we'll try and slow down a little bit and hit a proper golf shot. There's a tree up there that I normally aim at, so I'll see how I go for uh, for distance. Okay, it's a little bit, little bit crosshead downwind, but uh, this should fly past that tree, and it did. Oh, oh it is still in the air, 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 still in the air. That's way by the tree. I mean, way by the tree. It's just a little... It's just a little forearm jolt. But that's way by the tree. Now guys, I don't care if I'm throwing it away, couldn't care less. The ball is going dead straight, plenty of power, I'm not trying to hold any angles. I'm trying to get the club head going as fast as I can, as early as I can, I'm trying to do that. I'm actually trying to throw the club away. Okay, we'll just slow it down a little bit. That's bowling alley stuff, guys. Absolute bowling alley stuff.
you'll never miss a fairway. Okay, people think OK1 okay, generate much speed. Well, the advantage is that it's all happening here. And I'll really wind this up and crack it. They're good shots. I'll get a uh, wedge. Watch the action with the wedge, guys. I mean, you put so much, so much grab on the ball with the wedge. It's just crazy stuff. Look at that. Woo. That would just absolutely suck the cover off the ball. This um, grass is so wet, and, and what, what it does, okay, a lot of pressure off that, I'm glad that my foot just slipped there a little bit, but that's, that's because there's so much pressure in those shots, a lot of pressure in that shot, and because I'm going, uh, pushing my feet down to the ground, with no spikes on, they just slip. That's just perfect. Just hit a couple this way. Flag out there, guys. Right beside us. I'm just digging this out of the rough here. This is really deep rough. It's underground. Go in. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. About a little 80 meter, 85 meter pit shot, guys. Go in the hole. That's the other flag. Just hit a couple of uh, five irons down range. You see that ball fly, guys? But that's perfect. Whew, is that perfect? As Mo Norman would say, ooh, is that perfect? Just like they're on a string. Or as they used to say with Mo, a bit of frozen rope. Little jolts. Guys, I could stand here all day, I mean all day, all afternoon. They'd all do that. Because the club can't get offline, guys. How can I miss a shot? The club can't get offline. What's my swing thought? To feel the head of the club loading on the back, so I'm just tossing it back there. They're just perfect shots. Easy as. Easiest golf swing in the world, guys. You can't call it the easiest swing in the world, but it is the easiest swing. Okay, we'll put a bit of heat on this. Yeah, <laughs> that's five on going three on distance. Wow. Oh, that's long. And you know how I get it to go further, guys? I shorten the swing. And uh, length, I shorten it. Because that loads the club more. I actually shorten the swing to load it. And that's two iron distance. Well, it's not, but it's full three iron distance with a five iron. Wow, that's long. I'm not worried about shoulders. I'm not worried about anything. Couldn't care less. Just throwing that club back, starting and and just starting that left knee and that shortens the golf swing up. Alright, last shot and we'll really, really hammer this one. 
very hard to, but that's the only, well in a lot of ways it's good, but the pressure down is unbelievable. And this grass is a couple of inches long and it's wet, and my feet just keep slipping a little bit. But it's, um, oh, it's just so good. All right, nice shot. Now guys, five iron, three iron distance. Okay, it doesn't go, it doesn't go super high, but don't worry most of you. I mean, I probably could hit it. I'll try and hit this one a bit high. Now that's, oh, that's way up there, that's seven iron height. But they don't move guys, they just don't move. Just a couple this way. And I really bomb this now, I'm warm. So I really bomb this. Well that's, the, this is five iron. <clears throat> oh, I'm not a long hitter guys. But that is absolutely almost as long as a th some of the three irons I hit. Okay, it's a little bit downwind, but I mean it's still long. Well that is, that's probably two iron distance. Oh, that's crazy. And I'm only just getting back into the, uh, into the swing of things myself. Okay guys, last shot because a big cloud coming across here. We'll hit this up here and we'll do a bit more on this because this is, this is good stuff. Absolutely good stuff. Last shot and I'll blitz. See how hard I can hit it off this little swing. Just got probably third groove. Again, when the feet just went dead straight when miles, but just third groove. But when the uh, when the foot slips, you just lose that purchase. Okay, just there it is. That's perfect. Okay, guys, the rain's coming. We'll do some more on this because it's a really good swing.